I'm Dr. Aubrey Defoe. Welcome to Time Run. You're here to go on an important quest for Luna Fox. You'll be meeting Luna shortly. You'll also be meeting her assistant, Babbage. You'll be going on your quest with you. The hour-long game here at Time Run London is no walk in the park. It requires strong teamwork and some quick thinking. But as thousands of games dotted around the world prove, millennials are loving it. Immersive experiences in general, I think, are becoming increasingly popular because they enable um, all different forms of entertainment to provide a richer experience. Using immersive sets, audio, even taste, it kind of hits more of your senses to give you a, a more well-rounded and elevated experience. Often based in attractive cities, these elaborate projects not only demand a lot of time, but also a lot of capital. So are they actually sustainable in the long run? It has taken some, some uh, serious investment to get um, the, the level of production that we're, we're offering. We've been over for three months and it's going really well. We, are, we expect to turn a profit on the investment for in about a year. We have ambitions and ideas to take it into all different areas of digital. We very much look forward to doing some sort of um, phone apps or computer games. The question remains whether this growing trend can survive the whims of millennial tastes. Escaping from Time Run, I'm Nancy Holgrave for CNBC. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.